Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, I've got another collaboration with AutoCAD, uh, where I'll be doing a Two Minute Tuesday video uh, to go along with my Tuesday Tip article that's on the blog. You can check out the full article in the, I'll put the link below in the description. Uh, in the video today, we're going to be going over the differences and kind of the advantages of using a burst command over explode. Uh, I'll show you guys the difference and kind of the what you'll get uh, when bursting a block versus exploding a block. Uh, so let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to put two minutes on the timer as usual. Uh, I think today I can keep to that. So I'm going to get going and we're going to be quick. So you can see here, I've got a uh, welding uh, block. Uh, it's dynamic, so you can edit a lot of it uh, using the uh, visibility states and variables. Uh, it's got attributes that uh, are changeable by the user. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys why burst is a super useful command in AutoCAD. So the quick explanation of the burst command would be that it does the same thing as an explode, but it keeps the attributes as they're set from the uh, block that you're exploding rather than reverting them back to the default. And I'll show you that here in a second. But in general, uh, it'll be more useful to burst a block than explode a block. Uh, it's still going to give you the base of the lines and M text, but you're gonna get the values that you probably uh, will find useful. So to start, we're going to take this block and I'm going to make a copy of it so you can see the difference when we're done. And I'm going to make another copy over here uh, where we're going to use the explode command. So to activate the burst command, you can find it in the express tools uh, ribbon up top here and choose it explode attributes. Uh, or you can simply type in burst to begin the command. It's going to ask you for the object you'd like to burst. I'm going to select my block and I'm going to hit enter. So you can see it doesn't look like anything happened, but it's actually been broken down to its base line work and elements. Uh, as you can see here, if I open up the uh, properties window here, you can see this is just plain text. These are just multi leaders and lines, but it's kept all the values. So now I'll compare it to uh, what explode is going to do. So we're going to type in explode. We're going to choose our block and you can see it's reverted the uh, text back to its default values uh, that were in the block attributes. So this is a quick little tip, but I think a lot of people could benefit from using the burst command. Uh, it's super useful. It can save you guys a ton of time, uh, especially if you do work with custom blocks a lot. Uh, I recommend it and I think you should try it out. Don't forget to check out the link below in the description to the AutoCAD article, as well as don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below in what you guys would like to see in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.